research. We design a controller to make a quadcopter follow forest trails autonomously. These trails are used by hikers and mountain bikers, and this trail following technology allows the quadcopter to quickly explore a wilderness area for search and rescue operations. The robot is equipped with a forward-looking color camera, which is its only sensor for navigation. Discerning these trails directly from camera images is an extremely difficult pattern recognition problem, which is also challenging for humans. In the images you see here, it is not at all trivial to determine which direction the trail goes. To solve the navigation problem, we designed an image classifier that takes an image as input and returns one of three classes indicating whether a trail is visible on the left side of the image, in the center of the image, or on the right side of the image. When the robot is on the trail, our controller applies the classifier to the image acquired by its camera and steers the robot in the corresponding direction in order to remain on the trail. The classifier is implemented using a state-of-the-art deep neural network with 10 layers, 150,000 weights, half a million neurons, and 57 million connections. Such a powerful classifier must be trained on a large data set of images, and for each image on the data set, it must be known whether the trail is to the left, in the center, or on the right. In order to acquire this labeled data set efficiently, we equipped a hiker with three head-mounted GoPro cameras, one pointing left, one pointing straight ahead, and one pointing right. Video was taken while hiking several different trails in the Swiss Alps, with the hiker taking care to consistently point his head in the direction he was walking. Each of the three cameras mounted on the hiker's head acquires images belonging to a particular class. The images taken from the camera pointing straight ahead have the trail in the center of the image. Images taken from the camera on the left have the trail to the right, and the images taken from the camera on the right have the trail on the left side. Using this procedure, we quickly acquired more than 20,000 images correctly labeled for our three classes. These images were used to train the classifier. The following experiments were performed on several alpine trails, different from those used to generate the training set. First, we wanted to test how well our classifier works when classifying individual images. We observed that it is more accurate than alternative techniques based on image saliency, and its performance is comparable with that of human observers. Next, we tested our classifier on videos recorded with a handheld camera. A hiker would walk along the trail with the camera generally pointed forward, but without being careful about where to point the camera, so that sometimes the trail is in front of the hiker and sometimes to the side. In the video, the three bottom bars represent the outputs of the classifier for left, center, and right classes, respectively. The moving circles show how this information is translated to a steering command. Finally, we allow our system to steer a real quadcopter. Ten times per second, the controller acquires an image from the front camera and processes it with our classifier. If the classifier decides that the trail is straight ahead, the robot accelerates. If the classifier suggests that with high probability, the trail is heading left or right, the robot gently steers in the corresponding direction, decelerating somewhat. In these videos, the robot is completely autonomous and there is no human intervention. The system was tested both on a Parrot AR Drone 2.0 and on a custom-built quadcopter. For the AR Drone, the controller and classifier run on an external laptop connected to the drone via Wi-Fi. The laptop receives the video stream, processes frames, and sends steering commands. In contrast, the custom-built quadcopter is equipped with an onboard Odroid computer, which runs the entire video processing and control system. In the videos you see, the AR drone navigates a mountain trail without any human guidance, purely using the information obtained from its camera. As you can see, the Deep Neural Network Classifier provides excellent information that lets the quadcopter safely navigate a variety of trails that it has never seen before. These results are still in a preliminary stage, but suggest that deep neural networks can be used to provide effective control signals, even with high-dimensional and complex inputs like those you have seen here.